بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم today we will discuss the nervous system and this is just introduction of the nervous system short lecture so the nervous system of the human being consists of two parts the central nervous system and the peripheral nervous system central nervous system the central nervous system is divided into two parts the brain and the spinal cord peripheral nervous system have also two parts one is the cranial nerves they are 12 hairs in number and they have their branches so 12 hair means 12 nerves are arise from the right side of the brain and 12 nerves are arises from the left side of the brain so they are called cranial nerve because they originate directly from the brain the other type is spinal nerves spinal nerves are 31 pairs and their branches again they are arising from the right side of the spinal cord and from the left side of the spinal cord so 31 nerves arises from the right side and 31 arises from the left side so there are 31 pair or 62 nerves among them the eight are cervical nerves 12 are thoracic five are lumbar and five are sacral nerves which originate from the spinal cord so nervous system has parts central nervous system which is again divided into brain and spinal cord and the peripheral nervous system which has sensory neurons and motor neurons or sensory part and motor part the motor part is again divided into somatic nervous system which actually supply the skeletal muscle and control the voluntary movements the other division of the motor neurons are autonomic autonomic nervous system which control the involuntary function of the organ like smooth muscle heart lungs kidney etc the sympathetic nervous system uh, autonomic nervous system has sympathetic division and parasympathetic sympathetic division is active during fight or flight response and parasympathetic is for well-being during maintenance or during rest there are 31 pair of spinal nerves each has dorsal root and a ventral this is the dorsal root and this is the ventral root dorsal mean posterior and ventral means anterior so the this is the nerve and the spinal are 31 so these nerves are connected with the spinal cord by two roots the dorsal and the ventral root the dorsal root is sensory all neuron conduct impulses into the spinal cord this is a sensory which uh, bring information from all parts of the body to the spinal cord while the ventral root is motor all neuron conduct impulses out of the spinal cord this ventral root bring away information from the spinal 
hard and it is motor in nature. The dorsal root has a ganglia that contain the cell bodies of the sensory nerves neurons that pass through the dorsal root. Here we have a swelling or tuberosity in which the cell body of the sensory neuron are located. Somatosensory and motor, motor neuron. Somatosensory and motor neuron. Each spinal nerve includes sensory or apparent and motor or apparent neuron. Uh, apparent means which enter the spinal cord or bring information to the spinal cord and apparent means which bring information away from the spinal cord. The apparent is sensory and the apparent is motor. Apparent sensory and apparent motor. Some of these neurons are classified as somatic and these neurons conduct impulses to or from somatic structure like skin, skeletal muscle, tendon and joints. These neurons are associated with voluntary control of the body movement through the skeletal muscle. So you can see that these uh, neuron arises from the they have sensor in the skin in the joint and in the muscles and when um, they bring um, impulses to the spinal cord and through skeletal muscle moments are controlled this is the sensory root which enters the spinal cord and by motor they supply the skeletal muscles and control movements of the body. Vessel sensory motor neuron. Other neuron are vessel apparent and apparent conduct sensory or motor impulses to or from vessel structure. Vessel means hollow structure like gastrointestinal, card, heart or lungs. These are holes, hollow structure or glands. So the supply of the visceral sensory or motor nerves are to the visceral organ. Thus all neurons in spinal nerve and the peripheral nervous system can be placed in one of the four categories. Somato apparent and somato apparent. Here to the skeletal muscle from the skin, skeletal muscle joint, this is apparent neuron, somato apparent and somato apparent. And motor activity occur. In the same way, visceral apparent which bring information from the visceral to the spinal cord and visceral apparent bring information from the spinal cord to the so there are four category of these uh, neurons. Somatic upright neurons, somatic apparent neurons are sensory neurons that conduct impulses initiated in the receptor in the skin, skeletal muscle, tendon and joint. Receptor in the skin are responsible for sensing such thing as touch, temperature, pressure and pain and are called exterior receptor. This receptor in skin are called exterior receptor because they are located in the external organ of the body. Skin is the external, most external part of the body. So th these receptors which are located and sense state, temperature, pressure and pain, they are called exterior receptor. Receptor in the skeletal muscle, tendon and joint provide information about body position and movement and are, are called pro 
prior receptors. The receptors which are located in joint and tendon they provide the position of the body parts that where the leg is located where the hop, the hand is the location of the hand the location of the uh, legs the moments all these location are located by the sensor or receptor which are present in the joints and in the tendon and these receptors uh, this uh, location of the body proper location of the body is called proprioception somatic apparent neuron are unipolar neuron that enter the spinal cord through the dorsal root and their cell body are located in the dorsal root ganglia this is the unipolar neuron this is a sensory neuron unipolar mean that originated from one pole they have or from this one soma one pole of the soma of the neuron means that dendrite and axon originate from the same pole and they enter through the dorsal horn of the spinal cord and bring sensory information somatic apparent neurons are motor neurons that conduct impulses from the spinal cord to the skeletal muscle here you can see that this is a motor neuron and they bring information from the spinal cord to the skeletal muscle these neurons are multi polar neuron with cell body located in the gray matter of the spinal cord this is the gray matter and this is the white matter so the motor neuron nucleuses are located in the gray matter of the spinal cord and they are multipolar here you can see there is the body of the neuron and from multiple pole dendrites are originated so that's why they are called multipolar neurons somatic apparent neuron leave the spinal cord through the ventral root of the spinal cord this is the dorsal root or, or the posterior root and this is the ventral or anterior uh, horn of the spinal cord so this motor neuron leave the spinal cord through the uh, ventral horn of ventral horn visceral apparent neurons are sensory neurons that conduct impulses initiated in the receptor in smooth muscle and cardiac muscles they bring the visceral neuron bring information from the smooth muscles and or from the cardiac muscles so they bring information from the internal organ or from the visceral organ and they are also sensory neuron they are also unipolar neuron and these neuron have a receptor in these organ so as these your uh, organs are located internally in the body so the receptors are called anterior receptor or vessel receptor because these receptor are located in the vessel or in the internal organ so according to their location or to their uh, function uh, their name vessel so they are also called vessel or anterior receptors vessel apparent neuron are unipolar like the somatic neurons that enter the spinal cord through the dorsal root and their cell body are located in the dorsal root ganglia this is the dorsal root ganglia here this is the dorsal root ganglia unipolar neuron and enter the dorsal 
corner of the spinal cord to the spinal visceral e print neuron or motor neuron they conduct impulses to smooth muscle cardiac muscle and glands e print neuron they conduct to the viscera these neuron make of the autonomic nervous system the visceral e print neuron make the autonomic nervous system is in the previous slide we discuss there is a motor neuron or either somatic or autonomic so the autonomic nervous system is constituted by the e print visceral neurons it always take two visceral e print neurons to conduct a, an impulse from the spinal cord or brain in some cases to a muscle or gland visceral e print 1 also called the preganglionic neuron this is this first neuron we have two neuron in the autonomic nervous system the first one is called p ganglion this is a ganglion which actually locate para vertebrally and when multiple neuron join together they make a chain which is called para vertebral sympathetic chain so in one chain the preganglionic neuron actually terminated and this is term the termination is in the gray matter which is where cell body is located this neuron leave the cord through the ventral root of the spinal cord the cell bodies are also located in the gray matter of the spinal cord in the in case of art autonomic preganglionic neuron and they leave through ventral root of the spinal nerve then and in autonomic ganglia either sympathetic or parasympathetic you know that there are sympathetic neurons or parasympathetic ganglia so they may end in the sympathetic or parasympathetic ganglia in the ganglia the visceral e print or preganglionic neuron or neuron 1 synapses visceral e print to neuron visceral e print 2 also called the postganglionic neuron is also a multi a uh, polar neuron and is begin in the sympathetic ganglion where its cell body is located this is a sympathetic ganglion and here the postganglionic neuron originates or uh, the the cell body of the neurons are located in the ganglia visceral apparent two neuron exact the gang ganglia and produce to some visceral structural structures smooth muscle cardiac muscle or glands when they these neuron the post ganglionic neuron when they leave the ganglia they innervate the smooth muscle or cardiac muscle of the visceral so these are the four type visceral apparent somatic apparent and visceral e print and somatic e print remember the visceral e prints are composed on uh, have two neurons while the somatic have one motor neuron the spinal cord is about 43 cm long in adult women and 45 cm long in adult men and its weight is 35 to 40 g the vertebral uh, vertebral column which is also called the backbone that house the spinal cord is about 70 
centimeter long. This is the vertebral column and it is 70 centimeter long. And you can see the spinal cord is 43 to 45 centimeter long. So the spinal cord is shorter than the vertebral column and it at, at the uh, when it and the spinal cord and is called the corda equana. Therefore, the spinal cord is much shorter than the vertebral column. The brain, the brain is a remarkable organ housed in and protected by the skull. This is actually housed in the skull and the skull protect the brain and it is a very remarkable organ of the body when we will discuss it so we will come across that how complicated uh, functions the brain perform the brain control all the five senses taste smell sight hearing and touch it is responsible for emotion thought and movements. The right side of the brain control the left side of the body and the left side of the brain control the right side of the body. So fiber which are originated from the right side they cross to the left side that's why the left side control the right side and the fiber the neuron which originated from the right side decussate or uh, pass to the left side so the right side is controlled by the left side remember that the lobe which contains the speech center is called the dominant lobe so a right handed person has his uh, speech center in the left hemisphere so his a right handed person dominant lobe is a left hemisphere and a left handed person has a right dominant lobe. The brain has three main parts the cerebrum, cerebellum and the brain stem. So the topmost portion is called the cerebrum. Below the cerebrum is the cerebellum and in the bottom or in the base of the uh, brain is the brain stem. The cerebrum control higher brain function. It has four rows each with different tasks. This the cerebrum, this is the cerebrum. It contains four lobes, frontal lobe, parietal lobe, occipital lobe and temporal lobe and it has different tasks each lobe has different tasks we will discuss them in detail front lobe execute function management of the brain decision making personality language planning and movement Parietal loop, intelligence, or reasoning, sensation, and reading. And occipital lobe is responsible for vision. This area where we pursue the uh, picture of an object. And temporal lobe, it is used for the language, behavior, hearing, vision, emotion, and memory. The cerebellum control balance, coordination and fine moment are controlled by the cerebellum. This is the cerebellum and it controls all the fine moment and balance of the body like uh, or organized moments and fine moment like writing and type, typing, elastic moments they are controlled by the cerebellum. And the, this is the brain stem which has center for the respiratory and circulatory system.
system and many other centers. We will discuss them in detail in upcoming lectures. So thank you. Hoping you may have learned something from this lecture. Please subscribe the channel and please press the bell icon for upcoming or in time notification and leave your valuable comment for improvement of the channel. Thank you once again. See you in the next.